one of the most popular meals in America. The burger is cast as the villain. Pretty darn scary, right? Wrong. The burger does have an impact on our climate, but it's just not the Dateline NBC killer it's made out to be. Ruminant animals, like the cow, belch methane as they digest food. This leaves behind an environmental hoofprint. Oh, I mean footprint. According to the EPA, animal ag is responsible for 4% of the United States greenhouse gas emissions. And beef cattle account for 2.2% of that. The elephant in the room, or rather in the atmosphere, is fossil fuels. 80% of direct US greenhouse gas emissions come from the fossil fuel sector. Although animal agriculture does have an impact on our climate, our American farmers are rolling up their sleeves and doing the work to lower greenhouse gas emissions and reduce their impact on the environment. With steady progress since the 1950s, cattle herds in the US are at an all time low. A cow today is much more productive and environmentally friendly than our ancestors ever thought of being. When we follow the science, the collaboration between researchers and our farmers is the key to building a better climate outlook. That's not the case elsewhere in the world, which creates an opportunity to bring our agricultural expertise to other countries. We're doing just that. The time is absolutely ripe for farmers and farm-related people to learn about how livestock affects climate, how it affects the environment, and how we can mitigate those impacts. Dr. Frank Mittliner is a professor and air quality specialist in the Department of Animal Science and the director of UC Davis Clear Center. In Dr. Mittliner's lab, he studied several feed additives that reduce enteric methane in cattle. Along with his fellow colleagues and graduate students at UC Davis, or should I say fellow burp analysts, they're breaking ground on some of the most innovative feed additive strategies that will help shape the animal agricultural sector. That's a lot to say in one sentence. Since methane warms differently than CO2, we have a unique opportunity not only to reduce emissions from animal agriculture, but to offset emissions from other sectors, like knocking down that split at the bowling alley. It just feels good. We need to work with animal agriculture to measure and reduce its environmental footprint because it's clear that the beef and dairy sector will continue to be a part of our world and our stomachs. The research being done in the Clear Center at UC Davis can pave the way for a more sustainable burger. And before you put down your burger for good, know that animal agriculture can be a part of the climate solution. And we're proud of that.